Why is your Ursa Ring so tanky? The way you battle has given me a lot of useful data. Thanks so much. Is it about how not to take out your Ursa Ring? Uh, we'll deal with you first. I was given the best possible education to become this strong. I don't want to lose to anyone. Where did you get your education? There don't seem to be schools or anything around here. Doesn't surprise me that they would teach you how to play Pokemon. No. And Michelle would like to battle. She's got a Persian out front. So I have Fist and Mitch back out front. Lord Yawn, I, I didn't heal. It's very much going to be uh, Fist and Mitch doing all the physical damage from this point forward. Down goes the Persian, though. Down it goes indeed. Give me the experience. I will take it. All right, Dugong coming out. We will switch to Cube. Now, Lord Yawn didn't finish off the Ursa Ring. Does not deserve to be healed for the time being. Or I have a plan for that. We'll go with the Thunderbolt to take out the Dugong. Once again, 21 levels should make up for the fact that Cube does not have the best special attack. You would assume. Down goes the Dugong. Give me my experience. I'm about to switch to a Nine Tails. I think that's time for Popeye. Popeye, you're not historically good at taking out fire types, but I'm really counting on you to do some good work for me here. Not in key situations, you're not good at taking these things out. But it worked out for the best. Down goes the nine tails. All right, Rapid Ash coming out. I believe that is weaker special defensively than the nine tails, so Surf should take out the Rapid Ash as well, despite how awesome it looks. It's one of my favorite looking Pokemon in the first generation, especially in this version of the game. It's Sprite here, but it, it goes down nonetheless. I mean, it's a fiery unicorn. How the hell do you beat that? All right, Giraffe Rig coming out. I don't have anything that's particularly strong against it, uh, which means Fistimich. Fistimich is just my go-to when I don't know. Fistimich's stats are so damn good. Go for the fake out. Just because it's a psychic type, and I feel like it. Oh, that's right, it prevents flinching. About that. But it'll be fine. It's not particularly powerful, like I said before. I'm not really throwing out the best Generation 2 Pokemon out here too often, with the exception of Larvitar. I'll go out and say that. Even though Larvitar itself kind of sucks, but its evolution is awesome. Give me my experience. Can't believe I let two trainers in a row do damage to me. Thank you. I feel like I've been set free by losing to you. I've been working my whole life for this. Uh, I've been working for a couple months. You absolutely destroyed me. Thank you. I can stop now. For some reason, I get furious over the slightest thing. I'll calm myself by breathing deeply. Sometimes that works. Down here, though, we can find a cherry berry. And I'll grab that before I do forget about it. Head in here where we can find another item. And we can find a Lucky Punch in here. That is a hold item, if memory serves correctly. Unfortunately, it's all the way down at the bottom. There it is, a glove to be held by a Chansey. It raises Chansey's critical hit ratio. Can I give it to anybody else? Like, could Nibbler, Nibbler hold it? Nibbler was given the Lucky Punch to hold? Wait, that worked? I didn't think that would. Wait. Give me, give me the item back. Y you can't have it, Nibbler. Hold on, I didn't think that would work. Looked it up, turns out you can, in fact, give it to any Pokemon, but it only works for Chansey. It does raise its critical hit chance by two stages, which is pretty damn good. However, if you have a Chansey, chances are you're gonna wanna give it a hold item that is much more defensively focused. So I can't say that I recommend it nonetheless. How you doing, Chansey? That's not how you spell your name. That's a dumb Chansey. How you doing, buddy? What the hell did I just watch? 
dance, dance. I, I apologize. Chancy dance. You join in too. Dance, dance. Would you like to dance? Of course. I've been waiting my whole life to do this. Dumpus, dance the Chansey dance. By doing the Chansey dance, he laughs at you. There, you're all chipper now. Lucky. Yeah, lucky indeed. Uh, that should have healed my Pokemon. Uh, it did. Let's see if it gave them their PP back. It did! Full heal! Nice to see. Chansey Dance is indeed pretty good, which is kind of weird. All right, we will head forward. Savalt Canyon, Tenobi Ruins ahead. All right, we will head down. Uh, we have made it to the Tenobi Ruins. Uh, the Pokemon around here, uh, just like north of Seven Island, uh, there's a 5% chance that you can run into a Mantine around here. Uh, but as was pointed out to me, hopefully I remember to put your name on screen because I'm, I'm sorry, I'm blanking on who actually told me it, but uh, Mantine is not an evolved Pokemon in this version of the game. It's not until Generation 4 that uh, the pre-evolution is kind of made up, so uh, Mantine is not technically an evolved form, so if I were to encounter it, I could indeed catch it. I'd love to see it. All right, so uh, let's try to get into a fight around here before we head into the islands around here. Damn it, it's a tentacle. Not being able to catch one of the Pokemon out in the ocean. I'm gonna kinda look around here. There's supposed to be some items around here, but once again, they're in the sand, so I don't have high hopes. Do not have high hopes at all. I'll actually head over here. See what that guy's up to. How you doing, buddy? Do you know anything about this stone chamber? Actually, I do. Probably more than you do. This is Rune Maniac Brandon. He's only got one Pokemon. Once again, it sucks. They think that rock is good. I had to surf to get here, though, so I'm not understanding why they think an Onyx at this point is going to be really good. Down it goes. It's just not that great. Eventually, they will learn this. Eventually. Down goes Brandon. That was uncalled for. You didn't have to be so rough. I used one move. I apologize that your Pokemon sucks so much. The Tenobi ruins date back at least 1500 years, but it's a baffling mystery as to why it was built in the first place. Sure, sure it was. With this guy out of the way, I was free to explore a little bit again, looking for the item. I cannot find it. Uh, they are heart scales, as it turns out. Now, this is an item that you give to a person known as a move retrainer, and they will teach one of your Pokemon a move that they could have learned but don't have anymore. So it can be useful, uh, but I'm not going to be too upset if I never find one. And it's not looking like I am going to be able to find one. So we'll just head into the Scoofib chamber. Now, all of these ruins, uh, they pretty much serve one purpose. Can I do anything about this? Uh, they're to catch this Pokemon. It's, I'm going to say it's an unknown. That's how I've always said it. It could be unknown, but I'd just go with unknown. Uh, this is a psychic uh, Pokemon. Not particularly good, though. In fact, it's one of the worst psychic types, but it is new. This is a new area, so I'm going to go ahead and try to catch it. Uh, they come in various shapes. As you can see here, uh, the shape that this unknown is, is a Y. <laughs> and I caught it first try. Did you ever have any doubt? Uh, like I said, it's psychic, but it's pretty bad. Even its special attack is not all that great. Its speed is pretty bad. Uh, but it comes in all 26 letters, as well as a question mark and an exclamation point. And the availability of all those different shapes is the real reason why there are so many tombs around here. Uh, but I'm not going to go over availability for those. If you really want every single shape of an unknown, feel free to waste your time 
going through all the different tombs, getting those. There's, there's very little practical use to having them. <laughs> but I was able to get one. Unknown, their shapes look like hieroglyphs on ancient tablets or letters. It is said that the two are somehow related. It's only a foot tall, weighs 11 pounds. I don't know why they're shaped like letters. Give a nickname to the captured unknown. Indeed, I will. As suggested by Templar, this is going to be creepy. With a Y. So, Creepy goes into the box. We will take a look at Creepy at some point, and then probably never use Creepy again. I don't believe there's anything other than like empty tombs over here, so to speak. Empty ruins. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. I'm kind of giving up on looking for heart scales at this point. I would just sell them anyway. Uh, nope. All right. So we're going to head over to the right. All the uh, ruins around here. I'm calling them tombs, but officially they're ruins. They're all empty. So there is no point in exploring them once I have caught an unknown. I did have like seven chances to get it though. All right, we'll head over to the right side where we should be able to find more trainers. Indeed we do. We'll take on you first. Today, in addition to our lesson, we came to see the chamber. He came to see the chamber. Gentleman Clifford would like to battle. He's got a Marowak. I still have Popeye, so things are really gonna go in my favor here, aren't they? Down goes the Marowak. I've trained Popeye on Marowaks. They showed up right in front of uh, the Elite Four. All right, switching to a gold duck. So I will switch over to Cube. The game does start getting simple when you know what the Pokemon typing is. But, you know, really, if you don't know what you're going to be up against, or what type it is, it becomes very difficult. I remember the first time that I played the second generation, I had no idea what a pseudo wudo or su yeah pseudo wudo is and it took me forever to kill it and there was no reason for it like i lost two pokemon because i'm like what the hell is it just trying to figure out what it was my how extraordinary give me your money Ah, so you are studying pokemon on your own yes you certainly are quite the extraordinary person indeed it's about time somebody noticed. Head down here, take you on. Clifford is teaching me how to paint. With his Marowak and Golduck? Painter Edna would like the battle. She's actually got a painting Pokemon. The only painting Pokemon. So, smear it up like that. All right, we're, we're just gonna go for whatever. Oh, it's got extreme speed. The fastest move in the game, if memory serves me correctly. But uh, I've got Thunderbolt. I'm surprised that it actually had a move. A lot of the Smeargles that we encounter don't have moves. They just have sketch to learn moves. Either way, though, down it goes. Th they touched my cube. How dare you, Edna? We might get in trouble for being noisy here. By who? You know there's, like, waves everywhere, right? I said that I wanted to paint an old building, so Clifford brought me here. There are lots of other ones that are easier to find. All right, we're just going to head further to the right because there is one more trainer. And that's honestly our goal at this point because I really could not care less about all these rooms filled with unknowns since that is really all that is in there. All right. This, for the record... Oh, I was going to head in. A mystic Pokemon is said to sleep inside here. Uh, for the record, if you have not solved Tenobi Key, that rock puzzle that we did before, uh, the unknowns won't show up for you, but it's not really that big of a loss. Unknowns, they're terrible. What do you want me to say? They're not good Pokemon. But we have a fight to go through. We have Rune Maniac Benjamin to battle. He's got a Geodude. But I still have a Pokemon capable of Surf, and therefore the key to destroying 
every single Pokemon that you throw at me because you're a ruin maniac and that means you have rock Pokemon because ruins are only in rocks, apparently. A lot of them are made of rocks, but you know, there's some in the sand, like the pyramids, everything in Egypt. All right, we'll go for a surf just to make sure I take out the Graveler. Does he have the third evolution is the only question that faces us now. Does he have a Golem? No, he has another Graveler. So we're pretty much going to do the exact same thing and expect the exact same results. It's like sanity or something like that. I don't know, I hate that quote anyway. Down goes the Graveler. Give me the experience. And down goes Benjamin. I'm not much good in battle. No, you're not. You you have the single type. It's pretty weak around here. I hear there are other ruins like the one here. Might they be the resting places of other mystic Pokemon? Well, if you go in here, it's the Monian Chamber, and it's the same thing, filled with unknowns, but they have different shapes. So... Feel free to go exploring all the ruins if you really care to. This one looks like it would be special, but it's not. It's just like all the rest. And that is pretty much it for everything south of Seven Island. So we are going to head back to Seven Island. We're pretty much done here for the time being. Once again, not really able to go and conquer Trainer Tower at the time being. It's too risky, far too risky. So I am just going to go over Creepy, which we did just pick up. Back in the Pokemon Center, let's take a look at our new Pokemon, Creepy. Creepy is jolly by nature, which just makes it creepier now that I think about it, uh, which does mean higher speed at the expense of special attack. Not that it necessarily matters. Uh, Creepy at level 25 has decent stats, to be honest with you. Uh, but once again, because it is psychic, I would love a much higher special attack stat than what it has. It levitates, so it's not hit by ground attacks. It's it's just not that great of a Pokemon at the end of it. Its stats are a little bit higher than I had originally imagined they would be, but uh, still not necessarily the best. It's only got hidden power. An attack that varies in type and intens intensity depending on the user. In other words, nothing good. So, uh, Creepy's gonna go back into the box. I actually am going to use box number three, or sorry, four now. I filled up the first box, so I have to start moving Pokemon around. That's fun. With a decent party in tow, we are finally ready to take on the Rocket Warehouse. I've put this off probably as long as I possibly could, except for the Trader Tower. All right, we have two passwords now. We are free to head in. Goldie need log? Yes, nah, Chansey. The warehouse's door opened. Let's head inside. And we have made it into the Rocket Warehouse. This is a puzzle. Hooray, everybody's favorite. Ah, uh, freaking hate this place. All right, uh, I believe we want to go on the left side. All right, all the way up here, we can find an upgrade. Hooray. And we can find an opponent. 